The erosion of God-given freedoms throughout COVID were all subtle examples of government trying to play God, but Catholic Joe Biden's administration has taken this to another level. On Easter Sunday, Biden and Kamala Harris sent out rather reserved Easter messages, but gushed about Trans Visibility Day, which they chose to declare on, of all days, Easter Sunday, the most revered holiday in the Christian faith. While disgraceful, it perfectly epitomized their regular trivialization of Christianity. Last year's Transgender Visibility Day was declared just days after six people were killed by a transgender individual who shot up a Christian school. Lost in the shuffle of this year's trans visibility controversy was the forbidding of any religious themes or symbols in the White House Easter egg hunt. Months earlier, the Bidens were disparaging Christmas. Joe refused to name Jesus during the White House Christmas tree lighting, instead delegitimizing him as someone who, quote, Christians believe to be the Son of God. Jill broke with First Lady tradition by tapping a left-wing dance troupe for an uncomfortable, Jesusless Christmas celebration in lieu of the elegant spotlighting of White House Christmas decorations most First Ladies elect to do. Perhaps the Bidens learned this from Joe's old boss, Barack Obama, who is widely believed to be covertly involved now and never featured the words Merry Christmas on any of his eight White House holiday cards. And on specific issues, Biden declared the Supreme Court's overturn of Roe v. Wade a tragic error. The word tragic was ironic because Biden supports abortion up to 28 weeks, far beyond the point a baby feels pain in the womb and a topic the Christian faith views very seriously. Biden has also been silent on his FBI's concerted targeting of traditional Catholics who have been wrongly deemed radically traditional. America does not have an officially declared religion, but it is a Christian majority nation whose founding documents invoke our Lord and Creator. This administration's insistence on mocking, deprioritizing, or ignoring Jesus altogether, oftentimes rubbing it in Americans' faces, reaffirms beliefs that this administration's worldview does not align with American values on a political or spiritual level.